Hey everybody, it's Hylian Alchemist, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we defeated the Goomba King, and in this episode, we're just gonna be, uh, going through this path to get to, uh, well, we're just gonna head through Toe Town, and then to Shooting Star Summit. And we have the Sleepy Sheep. Um, Sleepy Sheeps, they're, uh, not all that useful. I mean, they actually, uh, what they do is they, they just, uh, put enemies to sleep, but that only really works on regular battles, and not so much on, uh, boss battles, from what I've heard. Because apparently the bosses are completely immune to them. And what we have here on top of this, uh, top of this archway, the hammer throw badge. It's one enemy with a hammer, no matter how far away they are. So anyways, uh, let's just go through here. That's pretty much all there is. Just this one single area where we can just, uh, get the, uh, get the item and, uh, and another badge. And here we are, Toe Town. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The place is kidnapped. The very castle of Buddha. It's Bedlam, even though this is the same shit that's been happening every single day. So why are we all panicking? I don't know. This all says it's here so pathetic. Oh, I can clearly see that right here. You know, I have to deal with sh this shit every single day myself. And no matter how many times I do it, the, the princess always get, puts me in the friend zone. Oh, such is the life of Plumber. And yet nobody even seems to care. And I thought Isle Delfino was bad enough, even though this this came out of before I ever went to Isle Delfino. Those are great for little pricks. Anyway, so, um... So, yeah, I actually had to uh, start a new recording session because uh, that uh, last session was actually part of the last episode. And so I just want to get to this A block so that way there I can just start a new session. But anyway, so yes, I know I did go past this uh, warp pipe that's right here. So let's go right down and if we uh, pay enough attention to the intro, we're back at Mario's house and Luigi's uh, single song. We can't really uh, tell what it is. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. <laughs> Whoa, Mario, it's good. It's you, good to see you. And you are right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Uh, first, I'm gonna go stare at this Goomba. Are you even dressing Goombas right now? They're not enemies. And who are you? I'm Gabario, nice to meet you. I see. Great. Just great. You're on an exciting adventure, adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh well, take care of Mario, okay? I guess I'm just gonna sit here and uh, maybe hopefully, well, it is 2001 and I hear they're gonna get me a new game. So I guess I'll just wait. Hopefully it doesn't involve a spooky mansion with ghosts. Yeah, it's like, you know, Luigi just goes and complains about how he doesn't get to do anything. But you know, this, this game did come out, well, at least in America in uh, 2001. And so later on this year, um... Actually, ironically enough, um, when the, uh, game, or Nintendo GameCube came out this year, uh, the launch title was, of course, of Luigi's Mansion. If I remember correctly. So, yeah, launch title being a Luigi game. So, yeah, he, he's even luckier with this one. So, anyway, um, yeah, basically, um, inside Mario's house, uh, this is where, uh, th th this right here is where you can actually, uh, check the letters that are sent to you, but it's empty right now. And this little, um, chalkboard's right here, you can actually, uh, check your current, uh, game status. And there's also other things that we can do, but we don't really have the moves to do them just yet, so once we do get them, we'll come back a little later and we'll we'll see. So anyways, uh, so I guess what we're gonna do now is just uh, do a little bit of exploring around in, um, around in, uh, Toe Town. And it looks to be a nursery right here. So yes, uh, to those of you who have not seen my update video, I have, uh, it's been such a long time since I've uh, gone back to doing any uh, Let's Plays whatsoever because I've just been uh, super busy lately. Um, well, first let me just stop myself. Excuse me, right there. Uh, this here is a shop. Um, the, the first time we ever uh, get to uh, go into the shop, and uh, it's where you can actually pick up your items like mushrooms or uh, honey syrups. And where you can actually just either buy stuff with the coins or uh, sell them to uh, get more coins. Uh, it's also where you can actually um, check in or like... Um, like, store your items into some sort of inventory that they have in the back room, and they can actually keep those items for you. Like, basically, some sort of a safe storage. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, item inventory in this game is so fucking limited. Like, um... I think it's ten items that you, you can only, uh... be able to carry a maximum of. And, yeah, really, I hate it when games do that. You run out of space, and you can't really make more room for, uh, for another kind of item. Y y y I think you only have ten maximum items that you can only carry. And that, that, that's just what, what really sucks about this game. So if you actually uh, want to just... Uh, there's actually some items you really don't want to give away. Then you can actually store them in the uh, 
storm in the shop. Anyway, a few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. Not dead, though, thankfully. The whereabouts of the princesses are unknown, and where the castle once stood is now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. Which will probably not... It's not going to be the last time we ever get to see the castle rise into the sky. We go by in here. Toe Town Underground News. I'm scribbling on the back of the nose board. How naughty. I heard Mario was defeated by Bowser. How ominous. Gods of Loving Toad. So yeah, that news bulletin uh, up at the front is where you can just uh, see any updated news. It actually changes for every chapter you complete. Uh, if you go in the back there, the same thing applies to the uh, gossip news. Which is basically just, uh, you know, they talk shit about Mario. And here it is. This is where the castle once was. Like I said, we're going to see this again in a later game. Just trust me on this one. But anyways, uh, I, I, I didn't go over those a couple items. Well, we, we did go over the mushroom. I don't think I went over the... Uh, was it honey syrup or maple syrup? Uh, that actually restores your flower points or FP. So, um, yeah, you want, it's actually the the most important items that you want to get here. Like, uh, mainly the important items like the fire flowers for attack or um, or more crucial ones like mushrooms or honey syrups. So make sure you have a lot of those with you because you are going to need those, especially early in this game. Because usually, for some reason, uh, like first parts of the games are probably the most difficult. Like, more so than what the game claims to be. Alright, so if you head over this way, uh, we have a little house that's right here. We're just uh, going inside. And this here is uh, more lovely. and if you talk to her from the very front, um, she can actually tell you a fortune, like, um, basically where some hidden items are or some uh, star pieces are. So that way you'll, uh, we'll, you'll know where they could be. And if you see that chest that's... Or, ah, sorry, chest. The chest that's right over there. Um... Basically, well, it's empty right now, but it's actually for some other use that we can get, but we'll we'll show that off a little later. And if we head upstairs, there is actually another character that we can talk to as well for um, some other use. Yeah, this guy right here. His name is Merlo, and this is actually where the star pieces come to play. So, uh, depending on the amount of star pieces you have, uh, you can actually uh, trade those in for badges. He actually sells badges, so in exchange for those star points, um... See, right now I have three star points, and so we can actually spend those three for the Chill Out badge. But we can't really get all of them because we don't really have enough star points. But yeah, this is actually what the, uh, the star pieces... I, I meant star pieces. I keep mixing those up for star points or star pieces because they have star in them. And then points in pieces, that's kind of, you know, alliterative. Yeah, I, I, I keep calling them star points for some reason. I always get them mixed up, but they're, they're actually star pieces. But you know what I mean. So yeah, the star pieces, you can actually trade those in for those badges. So that's really what they're for. And, of course, uh, just like I uh, just like I do with uh, pretty much uh, all my other Let's Plays for 100%, that would also mean that, yes, I am going to be collecting every single star piece there is, all the uh, locations for them. Because you actually find them out in the open somewhere, or they are actually hidden very well, and we need a certain move for that. But yeah, I will be uh, collecting every single star piece there is. Just so that way there, you can just, I can just show up, like, where they're all located. And right up here should be where Shooting Star Summit is, and that's where we need to go. And there's another star piece right over here. So, yes, um, once again, I do apologize for the sudden and unintentional delay that I had to take, because uh, I've been just way, way too busy, and I didn't have the time or motivation to uh, do any uploading lately. Like, um, see so right now, um, I'm actually, uh, still having my, uh, current job right now, because, like, um, because I still have, uh, quite a bit of work hours for my, uh, current job, and, uh, uh those of you who are wondering, uh, where exactly I'm working now, um, uh, I work for Publix. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's all you need to know. A uh, great company to work for. It's, uh, mainly, uh, well, well, you know, they're actually located in, uh, in the, uh, East Coast, which is actually, um, which is where I live. I... I live uh, right by the uh, the east coast of this country, so um, so if you uh, live there, then you pretty much know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's where I work. It's it is a great company. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We are the Seven Star Spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Ride, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. 
The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance... I'd like to trounce Mario! Or, I want Princess Peach to like me! Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend! When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he can grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear we will wish for he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. Uh, question though, uh, can you wish for COVID out of existence? Uh, ah, damn, 2020. Anyway, in order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with a star rod. He is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits and reunite Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. You're, you're what? You're my, we're my what? My ancestors? Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now our strength is fading. We've been caught in our being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Oh, damn this Wi-Fi signal. This place sucks. Mario, looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Oh, good question, good Mario. You, you, you do realize all the, the amounts of times I had to do this, so you know exactly what we're going for. Alright, so this here would be our uh, first quote-unquote Peach interlude. Well, I mean, interlude's more like, you know, um, we get to, uh, well, we get to take control of Peach. Spoiler warning, after each chapter. But not so much here, so... I don't know, maybe this first interlude here? Yeah, if only somebody could help. If only somebody somebody could help all of us. Oh, okay, okay, I'll stop with the 2020 stuff. Before you guys get more depressed, this, this, this is supposed to be a comedy channel. Whoa, my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use wait from waiting for Mario. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. No, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they treat us Koopas over the years. If you don't want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant wishes. Of course, the only great requests I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You better not cause trouble. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe I was gonna do something. Well, you know, because... Because, you know, he is he is the president of Nintendo, after all. Anyway, uh... Who's this star kid right here? How is he even tapping on the window with... Well, is he using just one of his, um, protrusions there? Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. Twink? You mean Twinkie? Ooh, Twinkie. Can't ever start even to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. But you don't even look like a Twinkie. You don't have any. You don't have any cream inside you. You know, fuck. I'm. I'm still gonna call you Twinkie anyway. Here's my wish. Go right now. Take that star right back from Bowser. Okay? Think you can do it? Uh, if that were to happen, then this game would have already ended. So that ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, there's something easy a small star can do. Uh, then can you take me uh, far away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad, Twink. Or Twinkie. Twink. Twinkie. Whatever. Whatever, whatever the hell. Mario will definitely do something to save us all like he's done for the past year. Oh, Twink! Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him! Uh, Lucky Star? 
And no, this is not an engagement ring. So, well, nah, I mean, we, we've seen uh, the ending of Super Mario Odyssey, then we pretty much know. <laughs> oh, wait, Twinkie, wait one second. Please tell Mario that. I'm pretty sure Mario okay? Can you tell him that? Of course. I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Are you really? Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon, so stay safe until I return, okay? Yeah, he's, he's telling he's telling us to stay safe. Oh, okay, I did I did say I was gonna stop with the 2020 bullshit. Ugh, fuck this here. Mario, where are you? Although I would say that you know you should be glad. I mean, this this was 2020, and considering the uh, pandemic, then you know at least Bowser's doing something right for her, just keeping her safe, just by bringing the castle all the way to the sky out of, out of the earth. Oh, so sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, do you mind? You are going to give me a fucking concussion. Oh, you know, I've survived worse. Even though I was supposed to be dead, because Bowser hit me with the bolt of light and lightning, and I fell far from the castle. Oh, wait, I've already had a major concussion. Who are you again? Anyway, so, yeah, we got the, uh, uh, lucky star, um... I think that actually does... Oh, okay, that that's right, that's right, um, it, it does the, uh... It does the action command, or this is where uh, we can be able to use the uh, action commands, or what you like to call uh, time hits. So, uh, yeah, I actually agreed to do the tutorial, mainly for the sake of showing it off. Also because, yeah, this is actually where you can, um, you can actually beat the shit out of Gumbario. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, so the action commands, basically, or time hits. So, what you do is that if you, uh, we're gonna start with jumping, and so, um... And so just by using the jumping command, what you do is that if you press the A button right before landing, then this is where you can do the action command. Once the uh, nice uh, comes up here, then that's where you actually uh, successfully uh, time the hit right there. And that way there you can actually increase the amount of damage that you do to an enemy. And so this is what an enemy does, and this is actually what you do all through the action command. So right before an enemy would be able to take an attack on you, uh, just press the A button right at the exact time, and that way there you can actually defend yourself. Uh, may not always, like, make sure you time it exactly right. Um, I've had, like, uh, I kind of struggle a bit at first, but if you actually uh, gotten used to it, and you, uh, get pretty good at it, then, um, then you'll be able to do it right, but yeah. And for the hammer, if you, uh, push left on the control stick with the, after all the, uh, stars light, and once the, um, once the big star lights up, then you'll be able to let go of the, uh, control stick, and then you can be able to, um, do more damage with the, uh, hammer attack. Now, as for defending yourself, like, um, when you do so, um, you actually won't take damage at all. Um, not all of the enemies, and you won't, it's not gonna, not gonna guarantee for all, all the enemies here, because some of the enemies that have, um, that advantages them, like, spiked enemies, um, normally if you, uh, normally they give you, uh, like, you, they take away, uh, two amounts of your, uh, HP. If you use the action man to, uh, to block the attacks, you only, uh, the, you only take one amount of HP. So, that's basically how it works. And I had to uh, fast forward that because, um, because I actually uh, wanted to practice a little more, but I kept uh, missing the uh, action command where I would defend myself. So yeah, every, every time I start a new game, I just um, it kind of takes takes some getting used to because um, because it's all like timed hits. That, that, that's what it's all about, and I I just kept missing my chance here. All right, so uh, oh hi there, hi there, random Magikoopa who's clearly not Kamek, it's just random Magikoopa who's just here and will never be seen ever again. So there's. Well, I'm pretty sure we might run into more, but I don't exactly remember. Although I will say at least that uh, Kamekoopa is a little more original than Kamek, because Kamek is basically just a regular Magikoopa. But anyway, so it's actually where you can uh, just practice for uh, for the action mans. Oh no! Attack of the PlayStation! No! But anyways, um, so yeah, that's actually where you can just uh, like. I mean, if you already know uh, how to uh, do the action commands, then you can actually skip the tutorial. And this is basically where you can just get more practice into using the um, action commands. Anyway, so there we go. And he's gone. And never to be seen again. So, yeah, there was just no point of him to be here to begin with. Alright, so now he's going to go back to Princess Peach's side. So, yeah. See you later, Twinkie. Mmm, delicious little snack cakes. Oh, wait, what do you want now? Get, get, get it, well, you... I, I would say I want to eat you, but, like... You don't even look like a real Twinkie. 
You don't have that delicious cream filling. Alright, sure. Anyway, once again, see you later, Twinkie. There he goes, back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. To defeat the Koopas. Anyway, so, um... Let's see, how are we on time? Yeah, we're getting close to the end of the video here. So, what we're gonna do is, uh, we'll just, uh, head right back over to Toe Town. Oh, hello there. Oh, Mario! Merlin was looking for you! He lives in that house with a spinning roof! He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house! I was just about to go look for you, but here you are! It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house! Okay, I, I better stop with that voice right now, because, uh, because I'm on the verge of coughing from that voice. Anyway, so, uh, there's a rest house over there. Oh, and I didn't even show off the post office that's there. Um, well, we'll, we'll see you a little later. Um, actually, usually, um, I would, uh, go and, uh, check out the post office after the end of each chapter. But I didn't do it this time, so, yeah. Anyway, so after taking a little rest at the, uh, the rest house right here. I suppose that's it for this video, so next time on Let's Play Paper Mario, we're going to head over to Merla's house and see what he wants to do, or wants us to do here. So, until next time, see you guys later.